Hi, my name is Olivia and I invite you to join me on my journey on the Camino Francis. So far, I have walked for over 100 kilometers from saint jean pied de port to Estrella. But a journey of 800 kilometers is bound to have its highs and lows, and in this video, I will be sharing both. The lack of sleep, the heavy backpack, and the long walks were starting to make their presence felt. I honestly woke up and I felt like I didn't want to walk. In today's video, I'll be embarking on a 30 km walk from Estrella to Torres del Rio. The following day, I'll extend my journey by 20 more kilometers, reaching the vibrant city of Logroño. Only two kilometers past Estrella, I stumbled upon a delightful surprise, La Forja de Aegui. This is an historic artisanal forging workshop in Aegui, Navarra, with a legacy spanning over 50 years. Located right on the Camino, the workshop welcomes visitors to explore its exhibition showcasing unique and award-winning creations. The pieces on display range from sculptures related to wine and the Camino de Santiago to symbols of rural sports and local culture. It is a destination for those seeking a glimpse into the artistry and heritage of forging. Only one more kilometer further, a second surprise awaited me. The famous wine fountain. I found the wine fountain! And I guess I'm gonna use my tap for it because uh, I have nothing else. It smells like it wouldn't be great. I don't know what it says. Where are you from? Germany. And it looks like it wouldn't be great. Yeah, it says. Ah, okay. <laughs> Were you walking to Santiago? You? Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I think now most of the people you meet here are walking to Santiago. Walking all the way. At the beginning. <laughs> at the beginning, oh, it was like French water. Like, oh, no. Yeah. This, this is our last stop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not uh, people from Spain. It wasn't Spain. And what better spot to meet your group for the day? It was a long hot day, but we were all united in the anticipation of reaching our destination. <laughs> this really looks like an oasis. Yeah, I see it. He's such a cutie.
the sound quality was not great, so what I was saying is that I've made it to Los Arcos and I've spent the day with the new friends I made and that I was going to continue on my own from there on. There were 7 kilometers left from Los Arcos to Torres del Rio, my destination for the day. And I was also mentioning that I was getting really tired and that it seemed like a very long way left at that point. So I kind of went downhill from there. Today's usual walk is Estrella to Los Arcos, but I'm going seven kilometers further to Torres del Rio. Today's been kind of a flat walk through the field. However, it's really, really hot. <laughs> and I felt never ending. I'm so happy I met a few new friends. I actually met at the wine fountain and kept chatting throughout this journey, which made everything much easier, made time pass quicker. Because otherwise, today's walk hasn't been that interesting. It's just plains. It's really hot and because there's not that much to see, it feels like it's just a never-ending road. I just took a very, very, very short break. right in my face. So hopefully there's gonna be some shade somewhere along the way. By the way it looks, I don't see anything. Not great. Despite the promising beginning, the stay in the Camino did not unfold as my best. The very hot weather and the not so scenic route made time pass really slowly. Got about one hour end. 20 minutes now. Yay. This is not fun. Not fun at all. This feels never ending. Still very, very hot. There is no shade at all. I just keep looking at the clock every two minutes, thinking 20 half past. And I still have one more hour to go. Just a lot in this heat. I can see the city. That is Torres del Rio. I hope. Turns out it was the wrong city. But I'm now approaching the right city. So I put my accommodation in Google Maps and it asks me to take this path. <sighs> what? <sighs> oh my goodness, Google. This is not okay. So here is Torre del Rio. Again, I highly hope so. for the night. I don't think there are gonna be many people staying here. And that's my bed. I made it again. Uh, this used to be like a very small town. So I'll probably go and have a drink and then just stay in bed and do a bit of work on some videos. And that's gonna be it for the day. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow. Good morning, this is day seven. I hope I'm not wrong. Um, I am here at my hostel still. I think I'm the last person left. 
I'm so tired. I was so cold last night. Thankfully, I only shared the room with one other person and they were also really quiet, yet I still couldn't sleep properly for some reason. I'm really looking forward to my um, private accommodation that's coming tomorrow and I have a few private accommodations from then on. <sighs> one more hostel tonight. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some coffee, maybe a pastry, something somewhere and get going. <laughs> All I'm thinking about is coffee, sweets, carbs. <laughs> it's like I desperately need <laughs> to eat something unhealthy to feel a little bit better. <sighs> Hopefully today is going to get better because at the moment it's just not great. I honestly woke up and I felt like I didn't want to walk. I just didn't want to get up. I didn't want to pack all of my things. But then here I am. I'm really hoping this is just from being tired and uh, it's going to get better. Three more kilometers to Vienna, which is the first town. That's all I'm thinking about. The views are so nice in the mornings. I can see the town. Look. You can finally sit down and enjoy some breakfast and a break. In Vienna, I unexpectedly crossed paths with a familiar face, a fellow pilgrim I had encountered a few days earlier, and I decided to pause filming for a little bit. That particular day, I was not feeling great. But everything changed when I reached Logroño. Through the forum, every law was met with a delightful surprise, and the Camino had its special way of brightening the day in the end. So. I have made it to Logroño, I say, ended up so much better than I thought. I spent the rest of my time uh, chatting. So I'm just enjoying uh, sangria and then I'll go to my hostel and I'll spend the day in Logroño. In terms of facilities and quality, this was by far the best hostel I've stayed in on a Camino. This is a six bed female only room. This is my bed. And we got this bathroom which is only for our room. Sunday night infused the city with vibrant life and contagious joy. And in that lively atmosphere, I rediscovered the joy of the Camino. The city has the best vibe ever. I love it. I absolutely love it here.
just had a great night. Had some wine, nice dinner, and now I'm getting back to my hostel. And I think I'm gonna close this here. So I will see you in the next one. Bye! These past two days have been a roller coaster of highs and lows, but that was the beauty of it. Every low moment came hand in hand with a delightful surprise, and somehow things always found a way to brighten up in the end.